Well, I think the unique factor, apart from the shock and horror of the war, and our sympathies, of course, lie with the Ukrainians, the shock, of course, is that these two economies count for more than 20% of exports in a number of areas. Uh, Gas, barley, wheat, corn, fertilizer, and certain metals and, uh, and certain precious metals. All of these are being constricted in an economy that already had an inflationary problem, that already had a supply chain shock. So you're getting a very amplified effect rippling through the economy. The real pressure point, in my view, will be food going forward. The Food and Agricultural Organization, the FEA, FAO, part of the World Bank's, seen its food price index rocket through 2011 highs, which was when we saw the problems of the Arab Spring some years ago. So I'm afraid enormous pressure for emerging markets into an African region, particularly the Horn of Africa, which is already facing a horrific drought. Talking about the rise in costs, the rise in inflation, rise in fuel costs as well, are we looking at another recession in the UK? I don't think so yet. And remember that there is a difference between headline and core inflation. A lot of these factors like food, like energy, like oil, like transport are single year events. And my own prediction is that the headline inflation rates we're seeing of 7 to 8%, possibly rising to 9% now, will halve 12 months from now, just because those headline factors will drop out of the calculation. So the question will be how to get a 4% inflation rate back to target a 2% inflation rate. Now, the governments around the world and central banks will squeeze to an extent, but I think they'll be reluctant to trigger recessions. Okay, turning to Gibraltar now, uh, we've seen government revenue is down, public spending is up. How can we balance the books? You've seen our economy, it's very small. Uh, We don't export uh, any goods, although we do financial services. Um, Where's our recovery going to come from? Well, you have a tremendous record on this island of controlling your public finances, and they've historically been extremely robust. And while I see those numbers coming down, I don't yet see a recession in Europe crippling your your activities. I would, though, note in Q1 that Spanish uh, uh, GDP growth was actually negative, along with Italian. French just made it to zero. Germany eked out a small amount of growth. So the pressure point is in Europe. So I think what you're going to have to focus on is diversifying further your financial services model, and particularly to some of the new areas and asset classes that will go forward from here. I know there's a very strong crypto following in uh, in Gibraltar, which is one of the areas of diversification that you could see. But I don't yet see a world economy that is in that much trouble that it'll actually cripple what's a very strong mid-term Uh, fiscal record for the Gibraltar Gibraltar economy.